Mediterranean lies an island that's hardly known, the British island of Cyprus, where the traveller's car shares the road with the baggage camels. Up beyond this old Turkish aqueduct, the road runs to the mountains. Monasteries of the Orthodox Church crown some of the hilltops. And priests in their black robes pass to and fro. Early in the morning, the mountain peasants come back to the village with their loads of Christ thorn, which will be used in the beehive ovens where they bake the village bread. Nearby, a primitive water wheel creaks and groans. Surely, it's a contraption to make Heath Robinson jealous. The water thus drawn is for drinking, but the family washing is done in a mountain stream. The children hear the bell calling and troop into school. And at home, their mother settled down to spinning silk and cotton thread. The spun thread is woven into materials for the family wardrobe. In other courtyards, the lace makers sit outside their front doors making Cyprus lace, which is famous all the world over. Across the street, the village potter is working his clay into vases. Notice the speed of his wheel, although it is only one foot power. The finished vases and bowls are baked to harden them, and then they are glazed. Most of the work in Cyprus seems to be done out of doors, and down a byway, a group of chair makers is sitting in the sunshine. They are using very primitive tools, and the simplest form of lathe. Of course, they have no need to worry about the supply of wood, for there is plenty in these marvellous cedar forests, which long ago supplied Cleopatra with timber for her wooden ships. The lungs find their own way down to the shoots, to the sawmills. Between the mountain ranges of Cyprus lie many fertile plains, and farming is the chief industry of the island. The goat herd is playing an age-old tune on his reed pipe to the flock, who don't seem to mind it. The islanders still cling to their old-fashioned farm implements. For instance, this isn't a new way of sledging. The men are using a primitive type of threshing board, which is studded with flints to press out the corn. Hemp 
is a favorite crop and the fiber is cleaned by beating it thoroughly, which is a real hot job. Women work all day twisting the fiber into threads and the threads into rope. Apparently, patchwork sleeves are the vogue on the island. When it does rain in this land of outdoor workers, it rains so thoroughly that the roads turn into rivers. But it soon clears up and the tobacco pickers start work again. The tobacco leaves are strung on a line and hung in the sun to be cured. Then they are carefully sorted before they go to the cigarette factories. Beyond the tobacco fields lie the olive groves where the ripe fruit is beaten down with long sticks. The olives are taken to the press and there the fruit is crushed to squeeze out the valuable olive oil. Further on, in the apple orchards, the fruit is being measured out and the weights are rough stones. Cyprus women wear this ordinary peasant costume. While Mohammedans, like these gathering oranges, wear picturesque white robes. This is not a bit from a Hollywood Western drama that's got into the film by mistake, but a Mohammedan wedding procession. The bride isn't present, and heaven knows which is the bridegroom. It certainly isn't the bald-headed musician. He looked far too happy. All the family and the neighbors helped to carry home the wedding presents which seem to be more useful than ornamental. The wedding festivities include long dances with elaborate steps. Guests are dancing when the sun sets over the mosque and they are still dancing when dawn breaks over the salt lakes.